Hi, my name is Zach Potter. I'm 15 years old and the founder of the Little Red Wagon Foundation. I started back in 2004 when Hurricane Charlie hit just south of us. It was supposed to hit Tampa, but at the last minute, it took an unexpected turn and hit just south of us. I started collecting food and water for the victims and found that I really enjoyed helping others. I never really had that aha moment where I knew, hey, I want to be a philanthropist. It just grew on me. In 2005, I learned that there are over 1.3 million homeless youth in this country. I couldn't imagine what it would be like not to have a home or get a proper education or just be able to enjoy some of the simpler things in life that most kids take for granted. I started researching and learning more about the issue. And at that time, it was really difficult to find organizations that helped homeless youth. Not that they weren't there, but it was just at the beginning of social media and the information just wasn't out there. I got the idea of backpacks filled with food and personal hygiene items, as well as other supplies, including a small toy and a candy pack. I added these items because I wanted the kids to know that I was thinking not just about their basic needs, but also what I like to call their kid needs. My passion for homeless youth, though, really developed when I learned more about the issues and I started meeting the kids. I started to understand that not only did I need to try and help these kids by providing backpacks, that I needed to bring awareness to the issue. I needed to educate the general public about the homeless issues among children. My goal in creating the Little Red Wagon Foundation was to let people know that the problem existed. For people to understand that you can place blame for this situation in a lot of places, but the one thing you cannot do is blame the kids. They are dealing with a really tough situation in the best way that they can. I wanted to provide for the kids in any way that would help them by providing backpacks filled with school supplies or backpacks with holiday gifts, backpacks with basic supplies that they would need to survive, and by providing them opportunities to just be a kid. In 2007, I took my first walk, 280 miles from Tampa to Tallahassee to raise awareness to homeless youth. I did three more walks for the next several years, going on from Tallahassee to Atlanta, Atlanta to DC, and then in 2010, I became the youngest to ever walk coast to coast. I did these walks because of the symbolism. Homeless youth spend much of their days walking, not staying in one place for too long. Also, because I knew it would draw a lot of attention from the media. I used the media to spread the word about homeless youth issues and also highlight other organizations in the areas that I walked through that were helping homeless youth. In some places, I put a face to homeless youth. The one thing that I didn't think about, though, is that I would become a symbol to the power that one individual holds. Other kids and adults would look at me and think, hey, if he can do this, I can do this too. I started to get invited to speak in schools all over the country and the world. The message I share is that I am no different than any of these kids. I just saw an opportunity, I found my passion, and I ran with it. It doesn't matter what your passion in life is, as long as you just go for it and you don't let anybody stand in your way.